Welcome back fellow believers and lovers of the Most High God. I'm using this span and the door jam to a makeshift treadmill, the least expensive treadmill you can get. And it's just as good and it's portable. It doesn't take space. You want to get one of those, you can just go to my descriptions and see the bands and in the bands they it, part of the bands is this door jam. It bring you directly to Amazon. It's an affiliate link so I get a little bit of a few percentage of commission but no extra cost to you so it's a win-win. So to lose 20 pounds in 90 days, my game plan to take care of the temple of the Holy Spirit, fellow believers, is the Daniel diet as revealed in chapter one of Daniel in the Bible. Drink five to six cups of water. Intermittent fasting. Jesus fasted, Moses fasted. All the church fathers, almost without exception, all of them fasted. The Apostle Paul fasted, Peter fought, fasted, John fasted. Sleep six to nine hours and then exercise one and a half hours a day and a growth mindset. That's the game plan. The Daniel diet simple, basically it's whole food plant-based diet. Five to six cups of water, that's all you need. You don't need a gallon or two gallons. Intermittent fasting, most people fast. As far as for eating, losing weight, they eat an eight hour window, 16 hours fasted state. I eat a five hour window and a 19 hour fasted state. I usually eat at 8 a.m. breakfast and 12 p.m. lunch. One and a half hours of exercise, I run around the Great Mall three times in the morning, three times at night to about 4.8 miles. When, I, when it's too hot, like today, and I was busy in the, early in the morning, I'm just gonna run 40 minutes. That's equivalent to about three laps. I run very slow, so I could do it for the rest of my life. So 4.8 miles a day average. In addition to that, to balance everything, not just to preserve the slow twitch muscles, muscles for endurance, but also fast twitch muscles, muscle for explosive power and lifting strength. I also do a high intensity interval training once or twice a week and also three to four times a week resistance training, some kind of body weight training, weight training, push-ups, pull-ups, that kind of stuff. It's in different videos I have already uploaded to YouTube. If you subscribe to my channel you will be able to access all those videos. And it shows a 61-year-old man on his journey. Not some 20s or 30s or even 40s. So if you're in the baby boomer age, in your golden years, I hope I can be a good example and inspiration to you. If I could do it, you could do it. It's not too late. We're not too old. I also practice uh, yoga about 10 to 20 minutes, three or four times a week since my body was tight at one, when I was one third the way through the journey. Now it's day 38. I sleep about seven hours a day before it was 10 hours. I'm not boasting or brag, nothing to brag about that. 
that's the way it was. But now, since 38 days ago, since I start running and have my body oxygenated and eating properly and have a mission and a mindset, I find all I need is about seven hours. So I save myself three hours. Minus one and a half hours a day, I still on my head one and a half hours every day. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, the like button, and leave a comment. All right, as far as mindset, I also rely on two. Oh, I forgot to mention about two books in addition to the Bible. The two books are How Not to Die from the Top 15 Diseases and How Not to Diet. Both books by Dr. Michael Greger in which he studies with his team studying thousands of research articles peer-reviewed articles with control group and placebo groups, very reliable, very scientific. And the conclusion is that the whole food plant-based diet is the healthiest diet. That diet, the purer you are, the lower ba body mass and index you have. Long Longevity, quality of life, lack of diseases, mental health, everything is from a, a whole food, a plant-based diet. Okay, as far as mindset, I rely on two other books, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey and The Compound Effect by Daryl Hardy. Both books can be summarized in the following. Begin with the end in mind. Have a vision of your life. Have a mission, divide a mission into three types of goals, short-term, intermediate, and long-term goals. Publish your work, document everything, track your progress, monitor and adjust, and above all, have a revelation and a realization that what you do on a daily basis over time will result in a compound effect. To apply these concepts to my journey, 90 days journey to lose 20 pounds to, to, to take care of the temple of the Holy Spirit. I will lose 20 pounds in 90 days. By July 20, 2020 or earlier, I will weigh 168.6 pounds. I document my journey in a YouTube documentary. I track my progress in the morning and at night with the Tanita body fat scale. Numbers don't lie. I monitor and adjust, and above all, I have a revelation and a realization that what I do on a daily basis to carry out this game plan, over time, it will result in a compound effect. I will weigh 168.6 pounds. What do I do while I'm going through this process? I enjoy the Lord. Call on the name of the Lord, because He is rich unto all who calls upon His name. No one can say Jesus is Lord except in the Holy Spirit. Jesus is Lord. He who is joined to the Lord is one spirit. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Always rejoice. Unceasingly pray. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Always rejoice unceasingly pray in everything give thanks for this is the will of god in christ jesus for you the lord bless you out of zion don't forget to smash the subscribe the like and leave a comment the lord bless you and you're going in and you're coming out in the morning, at night, and in everything in between. In your sleep, in your wake up, the Lord will rise up in you as the morning star dawning, the light of dawn. May you enjoy Him fully all day today. See you in the next video.